Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. Islam teaches that Isa alayhi salam is one of the greatest messengers of Allah. He healed the sick, and like all other messengers, he preached that there is only one God, Allah. You know him as Jesus alayhi salam, which means upon him be peace. People who speak Spanish would know him as Jesus, and others would call him Yeshua, Joshua, or Josh. And I'm sure there's other names out there as well. So whatever name you choose to use, does it really change the fact that he was one of the mighty messengers of Allah? Of course not. Now titles like the Son of God do add confusion to the status of Isa alayhi salam because of modern interpretations and lack of knowledge of how these terms were used thousands of years ago. Isa alayhi salam uses the phrase Son of God six times in the New Testament and he never uses it to refer to himself as a biological Son of God or that it makes him somehow divine. The Bible itself gives references as to what this term actually meant and how it was used. There's plenty of examples of this term being used in the Bible and not all of them apply to Isa himself alayhi salam. For example, Romans 8.14 says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Now as a Muslim, interpretations of phrases like Son of God are not an issue, because the Quran is very clear on these matters. This is a commandment from Allah, which translates roughly as, Say, Allah, He is the One, unique. Allah, the Eternal, the Absolute. He does not beget, nor is He begotten. And there is nothing, nothing like unto Him. Special importance here goes to the terms beget and begotten. As Allah is above us, anything we can see or imagine is not Allah. It's beyond our limited capacity to understand. So I pray that this helps you understand a little bit more what Muslims believe, and that our belief in Jesus is not that much different than those of Christians. We are a lot closer and similar in our beliefs than many want to admit.